At Newark Airport this morning, the skies got a little more friendly for Atlantic City. United Airlines CEO Jeff Smysick announced new direct flights from Chicago and Houston into Atlantic City International Airport. So I'm proud to be here today to announce a new daily nonstop service beginning April 1st of next year from our powerhouse hubs in Chicago and Houston to Atlantic City. This is an investment. They held it in Newark to maximize media attention. Governor Christie, a media draw himself, said his administration and the legislature have gone to great efforts to pump new life into the casino town. In the end, it is up to the businesses and people of Atlantic City and South Jersey um, as to the success or failure of our venture. Uh, but I don't think anyone could say any longer, as had been said for many years and with some justification, um, that the folks uh, in uh, the state capitol and north of there um, did not understand or care about the needs of South Jersey and Atlantic City. Christie was scheduled to give a speech at 8 a.m. in Philadelphia this morning, but canceled because he's fighting a cold. The only reason he didn't cancel this announcement as well, said a spokeswoman, is that the CEO of United flew up from Houston to be here. Senate President Steve Sweeney, a South Jersey resident and booster, also changed his schedule to be here, Christie said. Atlantic City for many years was the golden goose for the state of New Jersey. Everyone benefited from it. Well, the goose got sick, and we needed, to, we needed to get it healthy again. And when the governor and I and Jim Whalen and John Day started working on a casino district legislation, one thing we recognized is we needed to unlock the nation to come into Atlantic City. You want to bring a national convention in, people have to fly in either Philly or Newark and commute over an hour to the, to the city with uh, service from United coming in from Chicago, Houston, will be able to fly and be 15 minutes away from the city. It's going to be a tremendous uh, help to marketing the city. Port Authority of New York and New Jersey Chairman David Sampson also spoke. The Port Authority took over operation of Atlantic City Airport this summer. The governor said he's pleased Atlantic City appears to have gotten a new mayor last week. His own travels take him to Washington for a big speech Monday, then a Republican governor's meeting in Arizona. In Newark, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.